Okay guys, so here what I've done is that, that I've created a new directory or a new folder that is called chat websocket and if we list all the files we see that it is an empty directory. So firstly let's initialize an npm project here. So let's do npm init hyphen y to keep all the defaults. And now a package.json file is created here as we can see by doing ls that is package.json is created. So now let me install a couple of dependencies here. So npm install dash dash save. The first dependency is the express. The second one is socket.io and that is being used for web sockets. So let's install them. And we are going to also install one more dependency and that is nodemon. So and that would be a dev dependency. So let's do npm install dash dash save hyphen dev and this is called nodemon. And basically this nodemon helps us to restart our application as soon as it sees changes inside the files. So let's press enter. So now let's open our text editor that is VS code and that's what we are going to use in this series. So I can do code dot. So now we see that our folder is open and now let's open the terminal here and here what we want to do we want to create a couple of files inside this chat websocket uh, folder here and the first file is the app.js and that would be the entry point for this application. So let's create it. So touch app.js and we also want to have a public folder inside this folder. So let's create that folder. So make the public like this and we have a public folder here and now firstly let's go to our package.json file here and here we want to create a couple of strip scripts here and instead of test let's create a script called start and here we would simply say node app.js and then we also want to create a dev script here so and this would be running nodemon app.js like this so now let's save this application so now let's initialize our express application. So let's go to app.js and here we'll simply say const express equal to require express like this and let me increase the font size a little bit. And now what we are going to do, we will initialize our application here. So const app equal to express like this and then let's define our port on which the server would be running. So let's define the port here. So const port equal to process dot env dot port or otherwise we would be simply using the port 4000 for this application like this and now what we want to do we want to create our server so let's say const server equal to app not ahref but app dot listen and here we need to pass in the port so we can pass in port here and then we have a callback so we can simply console log that our server is on port this port whichever port is this that is either coming from the environment variable or directly using 4000 so we can simply say our chat server on port and here we can use template strings to define the port here like this so that's all about this thing here and now what we want to do we want to set this public folder as the static directory of this application so let's make that public folder public so app dot use and here we can simply say express dot static and here we can pass in the folder name that is the public folder name or the public folder path but for that we would be using another package called path that is built inside node.js so let's import it or let's require it so const path equal to require path and now here we can simply pass in the path name of this public folder that we just created here so here we can say path dot join and here the first argument would be the dir name that is the currently executing directory and then we need to provide in the folder name and the folder name is public like this and now let's save this application and now before running this application let's create an index.html file inside this public folder so let's right click here let's create a new file here and the file name would be index.html like this and here we can simply create the skeleton for the html so let's simply do exclamation and tap and now we have the basic skeleton for the html and we are using emmet here because that is built inside uh, vs code so therefore we can do simply exclamation and tap so now firstly let's change the title of this thing here so let's say chat app like this and here we can simply provide in a h1 element here and we would simply say ichat and that is the name of our chat application like this so now let's save this application and now we want to start this application so what we can do we can simply do since we want to run this dev script that is 
this script because we want to use nodemon so therefore we are going to use npm run dev otherwise what you can simply do npm and start but we are going to use npm run dev to use nodemon so now what we can do we can simply do here npm run dev like this and now we see that our chat server is on port 4000 and now let's go to our browser here and let's open this so let me close this window here first and now let's open this uh, thing here that is localhost on port 3000 on port 4000 and you might be wondering that how i am getting this index.html page rendered here though we have not defined any route here and that is because we have created this index.html file here inside the public folder so it is automatically been served by our server and in case you have created this file name by any other name instead of index here if you have provided here pendex or whatever or whatever.html then this would not be served and then for that you have to create a route here that is app.get and forward slash so now what we want to do, we want to create this basic UI for our application that is this UI though we would be doing the CSS stuff in the next video but let's create the HTML elements for all these things here that is for this input field here and then for these chat bubbles here and then for this feedback here and then for this chat input form here and then this button here and then this total clients here. So let's go back to our application here and let's open our index.html so here firstly let's create a div with a class of main and we are using these uh, classes just to style these divs and these uh, input elements or whatever elements which we are going to use. So first a div with a class of main and then inside this we want to have a div another div with a class of name. So let's create that and then inside this we want to have a span tag and here this would contain our font awesome icon. So to get the font awesome working inside your application what we can do we can copy the cdn link of the font awesome thing here so font awesome uh, cdn like this and let's uh, go for this cdnjs.com and here we can grab this first thing here so let me copy this link tag of the font awesome thing here and let's go back and let's paste it at the very top of our html element here like this so let me minimize it a bit like this and now we can use this span tags to output the user thing here that is this user thing i am outputting here that is let me show it to you that is this user icon i want to output so therefore i am using font awesome and for this thing also that is for this arrow here that is for this paper plane also we are using font awesome so let's copy and paste the font awesome for this far user icon here and now secondly what we want to have inside this div with the class of name we want to have an input field so input like this the type would be text and the id would be name input so name input like this and then we want to have a class here and this would be again name input not input but input and then what we want to have we want to have the default value and that should say anonymous so anonymous and then the max length of our name should be 20 that is not more than 20 characters the name should be like this and now let's define the container for our actual chat messages that is i am talking about this container here that contains the chat messages and the feedback message so let's define it here inside this main div itself but outside this div with the class of name so outside this we want to define this chat container here or the message container and this would be ul here so ul with the class of message container and again these classes are mine classes and we are simply using them to style the components here and the id would be again message container so let me copy this thing from here and let me paste it here and now inside this ul let's define some hard coded messages here so first li would contain a class of message left like this and then inside this li we want to have a p p tag with a class of message so p dot message like this and we would simply want to have some lower msm here because they are these are just dummy messages and then we want to have a span tag here and it would simply contain the name of the sender and the time on which the message was sent so let's say bluebird and then we can simply use this dot here or this emoji here and then we can simply pass in the time here so like this 
and now what we want to do we want to similarly create a li tab for the right messages that are displayed on the right side of the window that is on the chat window and it would be very similar so i've simply copied it and this class would be simply message right like this or this message right would be our own messages and this message left would be the messages that are coming from other clients and now we want to create another li tag for the feedback messages that is whenever someone is typing so this would be an li with a class of message feedback so message feedback not feedback but feedback like this and then inside this we want to have a p tag and this would contain a class of feedback and then an id of feedback again like this and then here we can simply say that uh, killer is typing a message like this and now after this ul tag here that is this message container so let me save this application or this index.html file and let's go back here and let's see that what we have inside our page here so let's refresh it and we see that we are getting this thing here so let me zoom in a little bit so this is the basic ui which we have built till now and now finally after this ul tag what we want to have we want to display a form here that is this form we are talking about that is whenever someone wants to send a message here that is this form here so it contains an input element and this button here so let's do that so let's go back again here and here what we want to do we want to create a form with a class of message form so form with a class of message form and then we want to give it an id of message form so message form like this and the action would be nothing so let's remove this action here because this form would be handled by js that is javascript so therefore we do not want any action here and the first input field which it would contain would be of type of text so input type would be text like this and the name of this input field would be message and the id would be message input like this and then it would again have a class and that class would be again message input and basically these classes are required in css to style the components and these ids would be required inside javascript to handle the form here so now what else do we want to have we want to create a div here with a class of v divider so let's create a div with a class of v divider like this and there would be nothing inside it and this v divider is for this divider here uh, if we can zoom here let me show it to you that we are talking about this divider that is this divider between this input field and this button here so therefore we are using this div with a class of v divider and we are going to style them in css and lastly we want to have a submit button here so button it would be a submit button like this and then this button would have a class of send button so send button and it would simply say send so send like this and then we want to have a span tag here and it would contain an icon of the paper plane that is the font awesome icon here so let me copy the icon here and let me paste it here like this and now let's save this thing here and let's go back here and let's open our application let's refresh it and we can see that we are getting this form here that is for the sending of messages and lastly what you want to have you want to have the an h3 tag here that is this h3 i am talking about that shows the total clients connected to the group chat so let's create that h3 here outside the form here so an h3 with a class of clients total so clients total and the id would be again clients total so clients total like this and here we can simply say that total clients is uh, let's say two for now and this all values would be changed by javascript again so let's go back let's go back to our application let's refresh it so we see that we have created the basic html page for our application so in the very next video let's see that how do we make this thing here that is this html to look like this thing here that is this thing here so that's what we are going to do in the next video that is how to style this application to make it look awesome.